what makes this beer so good coming out of the barrel, there's a thought process behind the recipe for it to be an ageable beer. What we're trying to do is round that product out over time. It's really designed to go into a bourbon barrel and to age. That's what makes this beer so unique and special is flavors that we want to be developed in these previously used bourbon barrels. It's a 133,000 square foot warehouse designed specifically for Bourbon County Stout and barrel maturation and aging. It's about a mile and a half drive, straight drive from Fulton. Once all that beer is in the tanker, the driver hops in the truck and drives it over here. Our team is here on site waiting for the truck. We hook up our pumps and our lines and transfer straight from the tanker into our 200 barrel holding tanks. We got a certain section in front of the warehouse that's called our process floor. On that red floor, that's where we fill all of our barrels and empty all those casks. And then we take them to their designated spot out in the warehouse where we have it non-temperature controlled. And that's where they're gonna sit until we deem them ready to be racked. And that time can be, for the most part, eight to 12 months in the, in the cask. make bourbon county stout without bourbon barrels. We've got a certain specification that we hold to and that's at least a barrel of eight years. We think that makes the bourbon with the most character. They're tougher to get. It used to be we'd have all Heaven Hill barrels. Heaven Hill makes great bourbon county stout but we've got Buffalo Trace barrels, we've got Barton barrels, we've got various beam brands. They all make great bourbon county stout but there, there's differences to each one. We don't do any sort of rinse or steam on these casks. If we're lucky, there's still a little bit of uncut or devil's cut bourbon in there. We put the beer right on top of that. As we're pouring that liquid into these casks, it starts absorbing into the pores of the wood fairly quickly. What makes Bourbon County Stout stand out is the location that we're at. Chicago has really hot summers and really cold winters. So this beer, once it sits in the barrel, once it gets put in its location in the warehouse, that room is non-temperature controlled, so we want it to go along with the seasons. Wood is a porous substance, so in the summertime, whatever liquid's in the cask is gonna get saturated in every aspect of that stave of that wood. We're trying to touch every layer of the wood that that bourbon was able to touch because we want those flavors to be imparted in Bourbon County Stout. This is any brewer's aging maturation dream location. It's amazing, the space is so big, but it is, it's, it's getting packed. It's getting filled really quickly. Managing this amount of barrels is, is a little cumbersome. We're pretty much babysitting the barrels. They're like your children. About six months in, we start getting samples of the beer to see where the ABV is, where the alcohol content is, how the aromatics are coming out, and just how that flavor is developing. Once we see fit that the barrels are ready to get racked out, we pull those barrels out to our process floor. We rack it, racking is the term we use to empty a cask. We transfer that liquid out of the holding tank back into the tanker truck. From there, the tanker gets driven back to Fulton and that's when it gets carbonated. And then from there, it gets bottled. I've been brewing beer for over 10 years. I never thought a brewery would ever have this many barrels. So to be able to play a major role in what I consider one of the best barrel aging programs in the world, there's, there's nothing like it. 
And like with anything that anybody does in this world, you want to be creative. You want to showcase other ideas and innovations. We're always doing small batch innovation. We probably have 150 single barrels. It puts a smile on your face and you know why you're doing what you're doing.